What is up everybody, welcome back to another episode of Scripting Tutorial. My name is Rishraf, and today we got the Red Light Runner system. Now this is basically going to be, just like you watched, it detects if the player has ran the red light or not. And there's different variations, so it can be unique. Um, so first off, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and insert a part right here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my properties tab. And when I do this, I'm going to see my properties. Uh, they're actually going to be glitching out. Apparently, I have a glitch with Roblox Studio. Um, apparently, like, it's just too to the, to the side. Like, it's just taking up so much of my screen. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave, like, a little crop on the video so you guys don't have to, like, stare at that the whole time. It's kind of annoying. Um, you guys can go ahead and name this part the detection part. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... You guys should set this to transparency 1 so your players don't see it. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to set it to, like, transparency 7.7. .7. I'm going to anchor it and turn off can collide. That's a must. Um, and then what we're going to do is we need to have our red and blue and uh, not red and blue, our, our red lights and our green lights. So I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and insert a sphere. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the top, go to sphere. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and call this green. And then I'm just going to duplicate it and then have this one red. Um, I'm not doing yellow to save uh, some time, but this is just, remember, all these videos are not game ready stuff, although some of them can be perceived as game ready. But for the sake of your game, if you want to make it look good and stuff, um, they are, they should not be used as game ready. Um, these are just templates basically that I give you guys so go ahead and move this closer um, So it looks better um, I'm gonna go ahead and I, don't, I forget which way you spawn so I'm gonna go ahead and move this a Little bit sorry my computer is being very slow today. So then Okay, nice. So now once I have these three or four of you adding the red uh, the yellow light I'm gonna go ahead and group these okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and insert a I'm gonna name this like red light system okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and insert a script so I noticed that you can't have the red and uh, the the green and reds um, the while true do statement first so what you're gonna want to do is um, just make these like red and green stuff like this so then I'm just gonna make it red uh, awesome so then and then we'll start off with a um, we'll have the script do it. Okay, so first thing we're going to want to do, we're going to say uh, script dot detection, or sorry, dot part, dot parent, sorry, dot detection part, dot touched, connect, function. Okay, we're going to say, uh, we're going to say player, and boom. Now we're going to skip two lines and we're going to say local players equals game get service we're going to go ahead and you already know get the player service the routine stuff you've seen on the channel and then we're going to say um if or we're going to say hit actually i apologize I've just been out of it today if hit dot parent uh, find first child humanoid then we'll say local player equals players get hit or sorry get player from character and we'll say hit dot parent nice so we got that and then we'll say and then we'll add some conditions so we'll say local we'll add some bool we'll say is red light right here lower camel case is fine and then equals false just so we know and then we'll say if we'll go and say if is red light remember you don't have to e say equal equal true because we already know that if is a it's just automatically true but if we wanted it false we have to say equal equal false so we'll say if is red light so if it is a red light 
then we'll say uh, I'm just gonna use a print statement player ran the red light okay and then you can do like player dot name or whatever so if you guys want to give the UI like um, like uh, so and so ran the red light or you ran the red light minus money what you're gonna want to do is go to one of my videos on how to give your players a GUI and you're going to want to put that code right here where this comment is. And then if you want to take away their money, you would have to go to my give player money video that I'll put in a card in the top right. And then you're going to want to just do uh, that, but take away the money that you want for re running the red light. And yeah, stuff like that. So then we'll say, so now we have that, which is fine. And now we can detect that. And then what we'll do is we'll add like a little, um, this is not necessary if you already have like a red and um, we'll say, oh wait, uh, we'll wait one. If you already have a, a red and green system, a green uh, traffic light system, I apologize. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and say script.parent.green.transparency equals zero. And then we're just going to use transcript.parent.red.transparency equals one. Uh, this way we set the green as so we can see it. We'll wait. Uh, it's going to be a green light for three seconds. Uh, then we'll go ahead and switch these up real quick. And then we'll just say like wait three. Okay. And then at the end we'll say is red light equals false. I know you guys are like, what is he doing? Like, what is the boy Rishrap doing right now? Don't worry, I'll explain it all. Uh, so right now we're going to set the green visible right now, and we'll set the red to be uh, invisible. So that means it's obviously not a red light. After three seconds, we'll go ahead and set the green to be invisible, and we'll set the red to be visible. So that way we can see that it's clearly a red light, and then we'll go ahead and say, yeah, it's a red light, that's fine. Okay, sounds good. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and test it out. Just one little script here. And here we go. So watch my output here. I'll go ahead and zoom in on that. So I'm going to go ahead and test the place real quick. And we're going to go and load in. Okay. So no errors in the output. And as you can see, it's currently a red light. And then it switches back to a green light. And then watch when I go through. Boom. We have a little output saying player ran the red light. If I were you guys, hold on, uh, I'm going to go back to where it's green. If I were you guys, see if I go, boom, nothing happens. But if I go back, boom, we passed and it says that player ran the red light when it was a red light. And if we go back, green doesn't work uh, because it was a green light. Now, if I were you, um, I would go ahead and put a UI. I'd say you ran a red light and minus $500 or whatever the, the fine is. Or if you guys wanted to step up your game, uh, maybe send an event um, to the server and say um, something like, you know, just <laughs> you guys send an event. And if you guys want an event tutorial, actually, let me know. I'm actually really good at events, not remote functions, but remote events I'm uh, very good at and I can teach you guys that. So let me know what you guys want to see in those comments. Still got the speed checker, sp still got all that stuff coming up. So this was a short mini tutorial. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate you watching all my videos all the way through. Um, you guys don't know how much that really helps. When you watch more minutes of a video for me, it uh, just boosts my confidence. It just boosts everything for me. And YouTube sees my channel as people are watching it a lot more. So even if you're not watching, like, please just thank you so much. And um, have a great day, everybody. Peace. Uh -oh.